I use that 18 wheeler off the road just south of Jackson, Mississippi, the place called the Greasy Spoon. Bunch of us truckers had a meeting the night before in Mobile and agreed to meet at this place around noon. Now, the reason we picked this place, it was just about six miles from the Natchez Trace. Now, for you folks who don't know, the Natchez Trace is a parkway that runs from Jackson, Mississippi to Tupelo. A 160-mile run with no red lights to slow you down, just park rangers to make sure ain't no trucks around, because they ain't allowed. That's a no-no. Now, to drive an 18-wheeler down the Natchez Trace, and there truckers dream an impossible task, or so it seems. We had a plan that just might work if everything went just right. We'd hide in the daytime and do our driving at night. We outfitted that rig with a thousand lights, kind of scary looking man out of sight. You could turn them on and off, and they'd spin round and round and jump up and down and make kind of a weird sound. We finished up about midnight, everything looked real tight. Made several calls to the radio stations reporting sightings of UFOs causing confusion. About two in the morning, we pulled on the trace and headed for Tupelo. Now, we was kind of proud. We was on the Natchez Trace where ain't no trucks allowed. Our plan was this, you see, a man five miles in front and one behind with his old CB. Keep me informed. Let me know what is going on. If a car was on its way, I'd pull off beside the old parkway, turn off all the lights. When it went by, I'd turn them on, man, what a sight. They didn't slow down or hesitate. Nobody stopped to investigate. Just roll reports to UFOs, scaring folks. First night out, made it just past Kosciuszko, 100 miles short of Tupelo. Pulled off in the woods, hit it, you couldn't even see it, couldn't find it like I lost it myself. Well, it took two days of hiding and three nights of driving, but it won the race. I took that 18 wheeler down the Natchez Strait. Now, them park rangers are still looking for a UFO, and me and that rig sitting in downtown Tupelo. <laughs>